Alrighty, so as you can see, today's video is definitely a lot more different than my usual style. I am going to be doing that 10k Q&A that I did promise you guys about a video ago, which I did post about four to five days ago since I am recording this video today. Now, I've gone through all the comments that I did get on that video with the 10k Q&A hashtag, and I went out and picked the best ones or the ones that I thought were really suitable for today's video. So if you did ask any questions about Hypixel Skyblock, I did ignore those. I wasn't there to answer questions about what gear you should buy. I want to answer some more personal questions that sort of relate to me so you guys get to learn a little bit more about myself and who I am as a person. So just to start things off before we get into the juicy parts of this video, the gameplay that is in the background is of a minigame called Champions Domination. It's one of my all-time favorite Minecraft minigames that I've played ever since I was a kid when I was about 9 years old with my first ever experiences on Minecraft multiplayer. And I figured I'd just host some custom minigames over on Mineplex, which is a very heavily underrated server, as you guys may already know. So if you were curious as to what's going on there, now you know. But with that being said, let's just jump straight into the questions. Starting things off with number one here, I got this asked by, I believe it was two people. And this is just the basic, where am I from? So if you didn't already know, I am from Australia, which is pretty far away from most other countries. That's where my accent comes from. I am from the states called Queensland, which is one of the biggest states in the country. If you don't know too much about Australia, it is pretty well known for its beaches and it's also known for a lot of dangerous animals. Although whatever people tell you about those dangerous animals, they do exist, but they aren't that common. And even if you do encounter these animals, usually spiders and snakes, if you just don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. So it's a really nice place. And that is where I currently live. Now, moving on to the second question here, I got this one asked again by I think it was two people, and they basically asked where I got my name Modern Soldier from. So this is a pretty interesting one, and this dates back way, way long ago, around 2011, might even have been early 2010, but I'm pretty sure it was about 2011 and then close to early 2012. But essentially, I started playing Minecraft around this 2011 period, but I played it on this Minecraft version, which was like a single player version. So this was actually separate to the main game they had to buy and purchase off the Mojang website. It was still made by Mojang themselves, although it only had the updates up until 1.5.2. So it was very limited and you didn't really get much access to a lot of things. Now, when I started playing the game for the first time, for some weird reason, I just thought the name Radioactive Soldier 5 would be a good idea. I thought that was cool. I thought that suited me when I was a really young child. And I sort of just kept that for a while. Although when I wanted to play multiplayer, which I actually played with my dad and my sister, surprisingly enough, they all had the same version of Minecraft, so that was actually compatible. The name Radioactive Soldier 5 is actually more than 16 characters, which wouldn't let you play multiplayer with other people, as you had to have that 16 character long name for it to be compatible with many things. Basically, I had to abide the rule of 14 to 16 characters long, which is when I had to change my name to something different. And for whatever reason, once again, I just thought the name Modern Soldier 50 was a good idea. So if you do look up on my name MC, you can definitely see that I had the name Modern Soldier 50. And then as I grew a little bit older, I dropped the number 50 off the end of my name and I thought Modern Soldier just looked a lot cleaner. So moving on to question three now, this one comes from Jay Yuha and he says, what is your setup, my mic, mouse, keyboard, etc. So if you guys didn't know, I have actually swapped out my mic very recently. The quality of my voice has actually increased quite a drastic amount in the past few videos, but I currently use the Elgato Wave 3 microphone, which I am really enjoying. It has amazing audio quality. It's really nice, clean, slick, looks amazing, has insane software, and overall, I just really like it. And now I have this propped up on the blue compass boom arm. So that's how I hold it up above my desk so I can actually speak into it just like I am right now. And then as for my keyboard, mouse and mouse pad, I use the Corsair K70 keyboard and I went with Cherry MX blue switches because I just like the really clicky and tactile feel, which is why you can usually hear me like clicking buttons when I am doing my videos, whenever I zoom in and stuff. That's why I have a really clicky keyboard. As for the mouse, I use a Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum, one of the older models, but it still works really nicely. And I have a very old Razer Goliath mouse pad. I'm not really sure what this is. I'm pretty sure it's the Razer Goliath, but I did win this for free ages ago in my primary school, and I won it as like a thing in a raffle of some sort, and I've just sort of kept it ever since. For the next question here, this one comes from CR Turtle, and he asked, do I still play Brawl Stars or did I quit when I stopped uploading it? Now, if you didn't know, I did play Brawl Stars for almost a year before I started doing Hypixel Skyblock content, and I actually didn't quit Brawl Stars because of YouTube. 
I quit YouTube because I quit Brawl Stars. So what I mean by this is I was just losing a lot of interest in the game. I wasn't finding trophy pushing much fun anymore, and I sort of just got bored of it overall. And since I was bored of the game itself, I didn't want to make videos on it anymore because they weren't really that fun either. And then I switched over to Hypixel Skyblock. I found a lot of success over here, which I'm very thankful for. And I would like to take that even further and extend it into multiple other genres. Hopefully, I could start incorporating maybe some stream highlights, which I might be releasing Hopefully next week, I don't know. I wanna see if you guys have some opinions on that as well. But eventually the goal would probably be to extend even further out of Hypixel Skyblock and see if I can reach other people or a wider audience. For the next question here, this one comes from Link Rider Plays, and he says, how have I gotten so good at editing and how long have I been doing YouTube? So thank you for saying that my editing's pretty good. I would say that it's pretty decent as well, although definitely not as good as it could be. I basically learned how to edit just from watching other YouTube videos, sort of figuring out techniques, watching a lot of content myself, many other YouTubers and what they do. And then I've tried to imitate them, mimic how they do their different stuff, but also put my own spin on things and make it more unique to me. As for how long I've been on YouTube for, my account was made, I believe in 2014, but I have been uploading for a little bit over one and a half years now. So I'd say that I'm pretty experienced in the game and I've uploaded quite a lot of videos. Next up, we've got a question from X Mystic, and he asks if I play any sports IRL, and if so, what do I play? So this is a really interesting one, and a lot of people don't really know this, unless you either watch my streams a lot, or you're in my Discord, but I actually do a sport called parkour. Now, I'm sure you guys will know what parkour is if you've played Minecraft, and you might think that I'm joking, but it is a legit thing in real life as well. It's really fun to sort of just go around vaulting obstacles, swing on bars, doing all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of really interesting techniques that you do learn doing the sport and I have a lot of fun doing it as well. So that was my sport of choice, although I did do gymnastics for nine whole years when I was really young. I started at the age of four, I finished at the age of 13, and then I moved on to parkour, which is what I do now, and I'm really enjoying parkour as well. Moving on to the next question, now we've got this one from Nikki Borrell or Burrell. I'm not too sure how to say that, but sorry about that. And he asks, how old am I? If you guys didn't know, I am 15 years old at the time of recording this, and I will be turning 16 in March. So there's not really much else to say about that. I'm still a young teenager. I'm in grade 11 in school right now, and I am studying just like a lot of you guys are. Next up on the list, we've got Joshua Tsai, and he says, will you ever make playing vids like Refraction, 30, Speed Silver, pretty much all of them? Now, the answer to this would be yes. I do want to try and branch out and start doing different styles of content. I know a lot of my viewers are here to watch my guides and my super informative videos because you guys learn a lot from them, and I do like making them. I also like being able to convey and portray my ideas the way that I do because I'm the kind of guy who really likes to analyze things, sort of get the correct answers or as much correct information as possible, piece it together, and then just use that to the best of my ability. But unfortunately, in terms of YouTube and growth, that's not really good for the future of my channel, and I would like to try and incorporate other things. Like I said in the previous question, I want to try and do some stream highlights because a lot of pretty funny stuff happens on my streams and also some pretty interesting stuff as well. So I feel like that'd be a really good idea to sort of mix and match both my guides, but also have a bit more fun and enjoyable content. So if that's something that you guys want to see, be sure to definitely leave it in the comments below or DM me any way you want to, because that way I can sort of gauge who's interested, who's not. Maybe I can do some stuff before I start uploading those types of videos. I just want to sort of interact with you guys to see what you will prefer, just to make sure I can make my content as best best as possible. Moving on to the next question, this one's from Draypon, and he asks if I have a guild or if I plan on making a guild. I do have a guild, it's called Tudor Blood Rush. It is a private guild, however, which means that nobody's allowed to join unless I say so. Usually these are really active members in my community, people who watch my streams all the time, people who talk to me on Discord all the time, and just people that I sort of see day in and day out are the ones that join my guild. And even fewer people get to be on my friends list. I currently only have about six people on my friends list as well, which is the reason why I don't take friend requests. If you guys were wondering. Now these next few people ask pretty similar things, either along the lines of will I quit Skyblock, am I getting bored of Skyblock, or where am I going to take my channel, or is Skyblock the only thing I want to do on my channel? Well, like I said before, I don't plan on staying on Skyblock forever of course, I don't plan on quitting anytime soon either, I still like the game and I really enjoy all kinds of parts of it, I do love this new mining update and I find it really fun to do in my free time, but I also really love running floor 7 dungeon runs and I also like doing fishing parties and all kinds of stuff over my Twitch. So at the moment, 
the game is really fun, but I would like to sort of transition a little bit out of these guide style videos and move on to other things as well, because I can't stay with that forever. And unfortunately, it's not the best choices for my channel. So when it comes to growth, that's sort of where I'm trying to take this YouTube channel for the future. So these next two questions are pretty basic here. They just ask, when did I start playing Minecraft? Like I said, I did pretty much start in 2011, although my account was made in 2012. So officially when I bought the game properly, I did play it in 2012 and that's, I've been playing it ever since then. But I did technically start a little bit earlier than that in 2011, but I played on that like free version that I was talking about before. So for this next question, iWom does ask, do you plan to take your YouTube slash streaming career anywhere else but Skyblock? And if so, where do I think I will be in the next few years as a content creator? Now that last part of the question is really difficult to answer. I have no idea where I'm going to be in the next few years. Ideally, I would like to be making either much more broader Minecraft videos because making the more niche Hypixel Skyblock oriented is a lot more trickier. But you never know, I could be making vlogs, I could be doing IRL challenge type videos, maybe I could be playing a complete completely other game, maybe I could be the number one biggest streamer on Twitch, who knows? But all I know for now is that I really want to try and stick with what I'm good at, try to expand and get more people viewing my content, and just sort of go above and beyond Hypixel Skyblock to just get as many people watching my videos and enjoying them as well. So for these next few questions, they all ask pretty much the same thing, saying what made me want to do YouTube and also what I do before Hypixel Skyblock. So to answer the first one just quickly here, I did start with Brawl Stars like I've said before. I uploaded those videos for almost a year and I streamed it every weekend just like I do with Skyblock, but it was just Brawl Stars. And that was a really good learning experience for me. I learned how to edit, record, script, commentate, all kinds of different sort of YouTube and streaming techniques. So even though those never got really that much recognition, I still managed to learn a lot of skills off of it and I was able to take that put it into my skyblock videos and I'm very grateful for what it's been able to turn into being able to take off to where my channel is today but as for the reason that I started doing YouTube and also streaming as well is actually a really interesting one and in essence the main reason for it is just because I was 14 at the time and a lot of my friends and classmates around me were all picking up jobs they were working at fast food chains they're working in retail they're working all over the shop they all had their resumes they're all getting all these jobs and whatever and, and sort of talking about it and I saw this and I was like you know I want to get a job as well but I don't want to sit in a hot, loud, noisy environment flipping burgers for four hours and then getting paid minimum wage. I didn't really like thinking about that and I thought it would be really boring to pick up one of those normal jobs as such. So I figured I'd try making YouTube videos and try streaming to see how it goes. I really liked playing games and I also really liked making the content itself. I very much enjoy what I do and I find it really fun and the fact that it has been able to turn into pretty much a part-time job for me was sort of the dream and the goal originally, although I'm very thankful that it has actually turned into the reality that I've wanted it to be and hopefully I can keep on pursuing this, keep on making more videos for you guys, pushing out more and higher quality content and hopefully the future has a lot of bright things to hold. Now this next question by Denali does relate to the previous one quite a bit and he says how long and hard was it for me to get to the stage that I'm currently at in YouTube and what was my story getting here was it easy was it hard so this is a really interesting one like I said originally the goal of my YouTube channel was to try and see if I could maybe turn it into a potential career option because that was something that I was really keen on and I really wanted to see where I could take this but it wasn't until I started making videos and streaming that I realized how much more difficult it was going to be the amount of editing scripting recording, making thumbnails, commentating, loads of things go into making every single video. Everything from making sure the footage looks nice and it's actually watchable, to my audio being nice and crispy, to all the little pop-ups that I put on the screen looking good as well. All that takes an immense amount of time and it was very difficult to do. Considering that I've been uploading videos for about a year and a half now and I've had to do that for every single video, around four to eight hours production process per one, it definitely wasn't the easiest thing in the world it was quite the challenge and it takes a lot of time and like I always say to people who want to be aspiring creators unless you're really built for the job and you feel like you can put in the hours and put in the time put in the effort to really get your videos as perfect as possible and as good as they can be then growth on the platform is going to be a lot more difficult but it's definitely well worth it and I have enjoyed every second of it 
And then for the last YouTube related question for now, this one is, what do my friends think about me doing YouTube? Does it break any IRL friendships or does it make them worse? To answer the second part shortly, no, it makes them better in fact. And a lot of my friends have really commended my abilities to be able to grow on these platforms like I have. It's really awesome because a lot of them are very supportive on what I do and they think it's really cool how I've been able to take basically a hobby and turn it into a bit of a career. And also like I mentioned before, the fact that they will have their own part-time jobs and work in retail, work in fast food, and then to have a friend like me who works making videos on the internet and being able to earn the same amount as them is really, really cool to them. And overall, it's only really strengthened my friendships. My friends are some of the coolest people out there. And overall, even just talking to people IRL who are friends of my friends and who I don't even really know that much, they know about my stuff as well, which I think is pretty cool. Most people are just really chill about it. There's no real difference with it. It doesn't make me a celebrity by any means. So I'm glad to say that it has returned positively for the most part and it has 100% strengthened a lot of my IRL friendships. Moving on to the next question here, this one's by Adrian Moldavinu. Hopefully I said that correctly. He asks, how much have I invested in my YouTube channel in real life and in game? So if I've understood this correctly, he means how many hours I've put in editing and also recording, I believe. And usually each video takes me around five to eight hours total for the entire production process. This is everything from scripting out the video to recording the video, editing it, cleaning up the edits, making the thumbnail, writing the description, adding all the end screen tags, all that good stuff. It does take a lot of time to make each and every video and I try to make them as good as possible. So I would say quite a few hours, probably in the hundreds, maybe even in the thousands, who knows. So I would say that I have invested a lot of time into this channel and it definitely isn't the easiest task. All right, and for the second last question of this video, we've got, did I make my own skin? If so, what software did I use? So the original skin that I made, I actually made way back in like 2012. Like I said, when I first started playing Minecraft, that's when I made my skin. The original skin that I made actually looked really weird. I don't know, when I was younger, I thought it looked cool. I'm sure I'll have pictures up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it originally had like these blue glasses and a red mouth and I was going for like a robot vibe, even though my my name was Modern Soldier 50. But as time went on, I sort of tweaked it a little bit, added some better features. I threw on the mask that I wear in all of my videos, and I basically took away the original face of the previous character, and then I've slowly transformed it in what it is today. And for the last question here, this one comes from Soko, and he says, when unmotivated to keep going or do something, whether it be streaming, creating content, just playing a game like Skyblock, or even stuff like schoolwork, what motivates you to keep going? Now, this one's actually really difficult, and I have got quite an interesting answer for this. So, sometimes you aren't going to be motivated for a lot of things. I, for one, have had some videos where I wasn't in the mood at all to record, to edit, or do anything at all, but I knew that my upload schedule was when Wednesdays and Fridays and it was the day before and I had to get something done. Now this is going to vary from person to person but for me personally I'm the kind of person who's really bad at procrastinating. I have to get my work done as soon as I get it. I always am on top of my schoolwork. I'm always on top of all my tasks and I make sure that I can do as much as I can before I start playing games and before I start having fun. So essentially the way that I really get around this is I just sit down. I tell myself I have to do this. I'm going to get this done. And when it's finished, I will do what I want to do after the fact. So usually that's playing some games, talking to friends on Discord, watching videos, wh whatever that is. And I tell myself, if I don't finish what I need to do here, I'm not playing games, I'm not gonna do what I wanna do, and I'm gonna go to sleep that night feeling sorry for myself, and I will have had nothing done. And for me, usually that's what I do. Like I said, not everyone's gonna have that self-control or be able to do that the way that I do. So it's not really about finding the motivation, it's just being able to push through those tough times where you aren't able to do stuff. And it's just about having that perseverance to make sure that you can keep on going with the things that are important to you and the things that truly matter, because in the long run, they will benefit you a lot more and in the end, you'll still get to do the things that you love. And with all that being said, that's gonna wrap up everything for this Q&A video. So hope you all did enjoy this and did learn a little bit more about me as a person and not just the guy that makes those YouTube Hypixel Skyblock videos. If your question wasn't answered in the video, don't worry, I will be answering the rest of them over on Twitch. I do stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I will read the rest of the questions that I collected over on my Friday stream. So if that interests you at all, feel free to stop by, say hi in the chat, or you can lurk as well. Also, a big thank you to everybody who did ask some great questions for this video. I had a lot of fun answering them, and hopefully you guys found out some interesting stuff as well. But with that being said, 
that's going to be it for me today, guys. And as always, take care and peace. Español fluido, corrido. Que importa como lo dices. Porque mis padres son de Venezuela. Entonces lo puedo hablar. Bueno. Lo hablo medio decente. Prefiero hablar en inglés porque inglés es mi lenguaje más fuerte. Y lo practico más con la gente normalmente, ¿sabes? Pero bueno. También puedo hablar un poco de español. Did you get any of that? I'm sure you did. Yeah, H turns to 16 inch off the East Spanish. Hot. <laughs>